the fact that he's already two and a half here, obviously, it's a much, much better start. Much and that better. can certainly snowball the other way. It's kind of the point that I was getting at there. So, yeah. Now, now this time around, already a, a bit different. And a CS is reflecting, too. 12 and 0, greater than Glunger. That's yeah. 10 and 2. We're on the bottom nice. lane. Sky Blood grenades. Up. Okay. That is going to be a kill. Blood grenade for, for it. The did actually get the last take. And yeah, something to look in the mid lane looks like. No, GPK was able to get all the CS. Two blood grenades already. He's gonna. He has no mana, but he's just gonna go straight up bottom with the blood grenade. Uh, it's dive in time, bros. There we go. But I was gonna say this TP in Clockwork actually. So Pango does go back to the mid lane, but Clockwork here as well. The calling is down. Did Solo go too deep? It looks like maybe. Dead shot on him. The fear kicks in. Solo's trying to get out of the cogs, but it's just too damn oh, difficult. Tanking. They do kill the vengeful in response though. So both teams losing a the support there kicked out straight up and he's only 500 gold off yeah it's coming along very nicely for him solo on the other titan is gonna try to harass and do what he can but oh mid lane lacuna blade used but Ooh. gpk rolls on up and he goes towards a haste rune which he will bottle meanwhile toronto tokyo trying to make sure to keep his distance nice. not gonna happen though Got the kill good dragon slave there gets the kill indeed but now solo nice silence that's actually you might keep solo alive never mind okay he was definitely dead at that point but yeah no, it's still not a good time. science to like, try and prevent it overall, but one for one trade. Active Rune did get eat. Um, he's got to be a bit careful. Yeah, they, they see the creeps, if anything. They know he's up here, and yeah, save. He's going to hook shot in. Uh oh, daddy. There. Cogs make it a little awkward. No, he has oh, to throw stuff. Fear. Great fear. He tried, but the fear hit, and oh, that missed, though. It is going to be enough for the kill. Bear is dead, and the Laguna play to snipe out the lone druid. So an eye for an eye might end up being more for nine pandas. Well, that was a lot of gold Kyo Taka's way, and it doesn't stop there. He got the bear and the last hit on Pure, who had a pretty big kill streak. Hmm. Man, that's yeah, massive. Kyo Taka, he, he's gone. He's cooking. He's about to go back to base, then TP back. But they are going to go for Roshan. Here comes the smoke play, though. That boom, they're in, they're going for it. Uh, they, they need Pango for this. GPK, he's going to have to TP if they want to make this move. Like, without roll, I think they can contest. There's nine pandas. I think wisely so. They back off. They want to smoke themselves. He's coming over on Pango, but it's going to be a while. He's teleporting now. Immediately, Vengeful gets blowing up, though. Clockwork in the back lines. Trying to be a disturbance is certainly doing that as Wraith King also gets silenced. As he went in himself up here no with that bear. But Wraith King's just too tanky, apparently, with the live steal. They do kill Clockwork. And now Pierce Bear is slow. He gets it out just barely. Uh, survives right. Yeah, they, they are finding that room to farm and Radiant top lane Ramses. I mean, this is where Nightfall can definitely start to take off as they don't see this TP yet from safe. Ramses got to be a bit careful. Oh, the bro. jump. Dead shot. Dead shot hits. Is it enough damage though? No, it's not. Now comes the chemical rage of the support here. Laguna Blade snipes out Vengeful and Muerta's just running. She pops the Pierce the Veil. Look at Pure though. Pure doing the damage but Pango's dead and so is the bear of Lone Druid. Wraith King rocking and rolling. Going back in. Pure though with the resummon. It's the second bear remember but it's doing damage. Miro getting low. He's already popped reincarnation. That's a buyback. Vengeful Spirit with a buyback. Torrance Tokyo putting in but gets silenced immediately. Good silence. Great silence and he gets blowing up for the dieback. Pure's gonna lose a second bear. Uh -oh. uh oh. He ain't a hero, bros. No, Laundrids. He's dead, too. Both bears dead. He's dead. And nine pandas, they find the fight that they were looking for. Right, Ramsey is just hella baiting them. Full mana for Kiyotaka. So you... Same time, essentially. Wrapping around. And obviously, they're not going to run into one another. But the Radiant. That boom, they'll find themselves killing the tier they one. They want to take the fight. That's a rainbow TP right there. It is. Do they engage? Uh, Beppo's not going to force it, though. Oh, the Lina's going, and they want the spare. Remember, this will be the second pair kill. And then, oh, they whoa, got the Lone Druid. Lone Druid's out. Vengeful Spirit going to be picked off as well. GPK in the back last They try to go for the turn kill to Lina, but Lina's still plenty tanky. Meanwhile, Clockwork, he's been a distraction. Look at a blade on him. Oh. He goes down. Nightfall TP's out in the midst of everyone. That is a beautiful pick for Nine Pandas. No, great. They just get pure again. The burst is... There so. Yeah. Overclocking's online as well. Because the, the thing is still, even when you're far behind, when your lineup has the opportunity to clutch yeah, someone out of the game, like you swap oh. them in, there's Miero. Yeah, Blade Mail makes it a bit awkward right there, but it's not awkward enough. And they do get the reincarnation at least. The Alchemist also caught. Chemical Range has been activated though, so the reincarnation yeah, comes up and they get the kill oh, on a Wraith King. King. He's got the Scepter effect for now. Bear's dead, number one. Lone Druid resummons the next. Nightfall, he does help finish off the Wraith King. 
Meanwhile, Ozma's jumped in. back in, got stunned initially, but he gets the BKB off after the fact. Chemical Rage out of attacks, a nice swap for the Vengeful Spear, trying to keep Pyr alive. Pyr is barely alive, alive, but he is indeed dead. 85 seconds out for him. Pango jumping in, finishes off Skywrath, but he cannot get more. He blows up, and now Nightfall's by himself. Save's gonna Looks come like over and try to change that. Jeez, the overclocking, buyback on to Pango. Nightfall, now chance to put some good damage. Yeah, you gotta respect it. Pango, stunned initially as he went in. Concoction as well with the follow-up. Nice up. Lena doing the auto attack to roll up, help and keep him alive for the time being. But Moretta's looking to finish off Alchemist and one more auto attack should do it. Yes, finds the Alchemist. And Nightfall is unstoppable currently. Oh, Lena though him. with a dieback kill he has on to one. Pango. One versus one. Mort just says, fight me, bro. Okay, he does kill. Did it or not, though, you know, maybe wouldn't have made a difference. Either way, it's just nine pandas. They know that this game is all theirs for the taking now. Well, at, at least that sets up Slags to run into another team later and be like, guys, do you know how the Tormentors work? Okay, <laughs> Safe is looking to stall. I, 30 so seconds of Nightfall. Let's see if they can do it. Okay, There's some well, rolling. Safe's dead, so not so much there. Although pure, okay. Oh, they do kill the Elder Titan. Uh, okay, BKB save bears the bear. Up save there, Brian. 30 seconds on the resurrection, so they are going to save the bear, just barely. Okay, tier Good four time. is falling. That should do it. Nine pandas going for the ancient. That boom is out of firepower at this point. They're just going to call GG, and it is official. Kaiser, we got a game number three three coming at us we do think i mean i knew that we were going to be in for a good series you know with the last pick lena q talk re delivering you know i questioned the double radiance but it just got them all the farm they needed and eventually you know the nine pandas train after a way better early game in game two it was just way too hard for bedboom to handle it